Jamie's out back, 4x4 out of Cortez, Colorado. Number We're watching Courtney and Cotton. Cotton on the left, Courtney on the right. Let's hear it for Randy Rod. Right before this, we just watched Levi and Roger go. Oh and, <laughs> and Levi just posted the fastest front of the day. So that was pretty cool. He come out here to... So, not my intention to pick on anyone here, but I uh, just want to talk a little bit about the style of racing where you're going head-to-head. -head. So, we have Cotton clearly in the lead here, and uh, likely to maintain her lead unless she has a mechanical problem. And so, the, there's a good and a bad about that when you have this kind of this kind of racing where you're, you have multiple people on course. Now, the good, of course, is nobody's uh, there to block her, nobody's there to knock her over, nobody's there to crash into her. So, it's just, it's all her. It's smooth. The, the bad part is that there's nobody to pace yourself with. So you're in that car and you're going as fast as you know you, you can, or at least you think you can, but without somebody pushing you, you're arguably not going fast as fast as you could. Of course, when somebody's pushing you, you might be going too fast, and you'll end up destroying your rig. So there's kind of like pros and cons to, uh, to this kind of racing, as, as far as the driver's concerned. I was talking to guys before, like Brian Shirley, who's sitting in third for the series, and you know he said the same thing. You, uh, you know, you take the lead over somebody substantially. You think you're going fast, and you wind up being a minute behind the leader. Uh, whereas if you go up against somebody incredibly fast, like Shannon Campbell, you you wind up uh, busting your stuff up a lot harder than you normally would. So kind of get caught either way. My correction, that is Randy. That's uh, that's Cotton's husband. He is behind the wheel. I, I heard uh, through the grapevine that they're going to take turns. Maybe uh, he's going to drive today and she'll drive tomorrow. I'm not sure how they're working it out, but that's my guess. So we actually have Randy behind the wheel. takes the win.